welcome to today's video. I wanted to change it up because normally I do hauls on like more expensive brands or good quality brands. So I wanted to spice it up. Kyle and I went to Walmart yesterday and I found a bunch of activewear. So I was like, let's try this out, see how well it does for the price point because the price point was actually very good. So I have some stuff in this bag that I'm gonna go through <laughs> with you guys and I will let you know if it is worth the money or if you should just save your money, splurge on better brands. So let's find out. So the first pair of shorts that I got were these cotton biker shorts. They were really good length and they rang up at $14.97, which is a great price. However, the things that I didn't like about them was the waistband. I felt like it was kind of cheap. It wasn't compressive like in the stomach area. So just with the waistband kind of sucking you in, I just felt like it wasn't very flattering. Number two, the camel toe was very bad. So like don't recommend hiking them up at, in any way. Um, the things that I did like about them though, they were pretty squat proof, which I was kind of surprised. And the bottoms didn't ride up on your legs. So where they were placed when you put them on, that's where they stayed. So overall, impressed for $15, but like they aren't the best things I've ever tried on, if that makes sense. Okay, so the next thing are these core cycle shorts. So they're a bit longer and they rang up at $14.97 as well. I did get a small because I didn't have a medium and they were too small. So I would definitely say true to size with these. Uh, the good part about them is the fact that they clenched your waist. So it was like flattering. Obviously mine were too tight, so it wasn't like the most flattering thing ever. But I feel like they would always stay in place because of that. And it just like sucked you in at a good spot. They were really, really not squat proof. And especially for being black, I thought they would be. And the camel toe wasn't great. So I actually prefer, like if you had to pick between this short or this one, I'd go with the gray one. Uh, Cause I just felt like these were very cheap. And you know, like the waistband when you put them on and it like goes, <laughs> It's, uh, it did that. So I don't really recommend these ones, but for sure, if you're willing to spend $14 and you want, or $15 and you want a biker short, get the gray ones and not the uh, cycle ones. So the next thing I have were these leggings. So I got them in a medium, so they were my size. They rang up at $16.97. And honestly, like least favorite thing, I felt like they were really cheap. Uh, definitely see-through, camel toe was bad. Like there wasn't anything good about them and they weren't compressive but i found like the waistband either it makes or breaks a pair of leggings and these were really really bad like this one i wish like no i can't make it i think i already cracked it all when i put it on but like this is my size so it was kind of throwing me off that they were like so cracky and like very thin like as you're putting them on you could see the light going through like on your ankles so that's usually how i know they're definitely not squat proof however um, for double the price, I feel like there's so many other brands that you don't have to spend $100. You can literally spend $30 and you can get like a really good pair of leggings that won't fall down and have no issues with camel toe and things like that. So for the price point, I don't think they're worth it at all. If they're maybe like $5, I'd be like, okay, they're pants you can wear painting, but I would not run in these or do any workout or anything like that. So not good Walmart, not impressed with the leggings. Okay guys, so that concludes the end of this video. If you are interested in checking out my other haul videos, because I do a lot of different reviews and I'm obviously very honest, so check those out. I will link some of them below. Uh, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel, like this video because it really supports me, and I'll see you in my next video.